Hello and welcome to York News, a brief look at what's new and what's happening in York County. I'm Gail Whitaker. Coming up on this edition of York News, the Rhythms on the Riverwalk concert series continues. We call this regular meeting of the York County Board of Supervisors on September 20th to order. Up first, the Board of Supervisors held its meeting on Tuesday, September 20th. At the meeting, the board was introduced to a new member of the Colonial Behavioral Health Board. I'd like to express my appreciation to her for all her efforts and all that she's done. Presented a 25-year service pin and certificate to Sherry Fox of the Commissioner of the Revenues Office <laughs> and received the Virginia Association of Counties Achievement Award from Mr. Larry Land, VACO's Director of Policy Development. Also at the meeting, the board approved three of the four items on the public hearing agenda. Those were a resolution approving the Hampton Roads Planning District Commission's Regional Water Supply Plan for submission to the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality, a resolution authorizing the county administrator to execute a lease agreement with Child Development Resources for office space in the Griffin Yates Center, and a request for a special use permit authorizing a landscape contractor's business at 907 Back Creek Road. This special use permit was approved with revisions. The fourth and final public hearing item was tabled by the board. This item was a request that a no-wake designation be established for Cabin Creek and authorizing the county administrator to forward the request to the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries for consideration and action. After public hearings, the board approved the consent calendar that contained minutes from a previous meeting of the board, commendations of Wayne Harbin and Joseph Spruill as members of the York County Board of Building Code Appeals, and a commendation for Mike Player, Assistant Chief in the Department of Fire and Life Safety, on the occasion of his retirement. There was one item under new business. The Board approved certain amendments to two Board policies, recreational fees and charges, and vehicle usage. The next meeting of the Board of Supervisors is scheduled for Tuesday, October 4th at 6 p.m. in the East Room of York Hall. For more information about the Board of Supervisors meetings, call the County Administrator's Office at 890-3320. The Board's complete agenda, including all supporting materials, is also available on the County's website at www.yorkcounty.gov. Board of Supervisors meetings are retelecast on WYCG-TV on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 11 a.m., 7 p.m., and 11 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday at 3 p.m. Programs scheduled for 6 p.m. on the board's meeting dates will be preempted by the live meeting. These hundreds of children that come there will now be able to go inside of a windmill and see exactly how it works. Meetings are also available both live and on demand on the web. WYCG TV programming on the web may be reached by logging on to the county's website and then selecting WYCG on the home page. The Planning Commission will hold its next meeting on Wednesday, October 12th at 7 p.m. in the boardroom of York Hall. There are two applications on the agenda. Application numbers ST18-11 and ZT133-11 are amendments to the York County Subdivision Ordinance and the York County Zoning Ordinance. Application number UP797-11 is a request for a major amendment to a previously approved special use permit to authorize expansion of an existing theme park on property located at 176 Water Country Parkway. The property is zoned Economic Opportunity and is designated Economic Opportunity in the Comprehensive Plan. These applications are on file in the Planning Division Office and may be viewed there. Offices are located at 224 Ballard Street in historic Yorktown. For more information, call the Planning Division at 890-3404. Next year, 2012, marks the commemoration of the 150th anniversary of the Peninsula Campaign of the Civil War. The York County Historical Committee is searching for individuals with an interest in the Civil War or any part of the 400 years of York County history. The committee meets on the third Thursday of each month at 7 p.m. in York Hall on Main Street. Applications to join the committee can be found on the York County website under Boards and Commissions. For more information about the committee, call 898-0782.
As of last week, contractors hired to remove Hurricane Irene's storm debris had removed an estimated 90 percent of that debris. Contractors have been collecting storm debris since Tuesday, September the 6th. To date, they've collected almost 50,000 cubic yards. Residents who have not had a chance to get their material to the curb do have until Friday, September 30th to get their material out there. For more information about storm debris collection, please call the Waste Management Center at 890-3780. I think of no better business application than your opportunity to develop other people in your business. The York County Economic Development Authority held its first annual York Biz Expo on Saturday, September 24th at the York Middle Boys and Girls Club inside Yorktown Middle School. Several sessions were scheduled throughout the day, including a professional services panel that focused on business insurance, legal matters, and budgeting and bookkeeping a public resources panel that discussed state and local grant programs, zoning and land use and business licenses, and several breakout sessions on QuickBooks, marketing and selling to the government. This free expo was open to the public and was well received by those who attended. The seventh annual Rhythms on the Riverwalk concert series is held on Fridays from 6.30 to 8.30 on the performance stage overlooking the river. The September 23rd concert featuring Glenn Boswick and the Sounds of Swing Orchestra was canceled because of rain. So the series will be extended one week. Coming up on September 30th is Doug Dunn and the Steel River Band, followed on October 7th with the Dave Sinar Band. The rescheduled performance by Glenn Boswick and the Sounds of Swing Orchestra will be held October 14th. The concert series is free and open to the public. You're encouraged to bring lawn chairs or blankets for seating. Free parking is available throughout town. For more information, call 890-3500. Just bring it to room temperature, sear it on each on both sides, just brown it on both sides. Thank you, you have a great day. Yorktown Market Days is extending its hours on Saturday, October 8th to celebrate autumn with a fall festival. In addition to the usual market items and displays, the fall festival will add children's activities, hay rides, a pumpkin patch, and hay maze, live entertainment and chef demonstrations. For more information about Market Days and the Fall Festival, call 890-3500 or visit www.visityorktown.org. The public is cordially invited to donate to and or participate in the Senior Center of York's 2011 White Elephant Bake Sale and Craft Fair on Saturday, October 8th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. This event will be held at the Senior Center located in the Washington Square Shopping Center. Donations such as household items, crafts, and articles other than clothing can be delivered to the center Mondays through Fridays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Bake sale items may be delivered Friday, October 7th from noon to 4 or on the day of the sale at 8.30 a.m. The craft fair will feature knitting, crocheting, paintings, and more. Also in October, the Senior Center will be holding flu shot registration on October 4th, Health Day on October 12th, Culture Day on October 20th, and much more. Call the center at 898-3807 for a complete schedule or to register. You can also stop by the center to enjoy their activities, classes, and company. And finally, York County offices, libraries, York Pocos and Social Services, and the administrative offices of the Waste Management Center will be closed on Wednesday, October 19th in observance of Yorktown Day, the anniversary of the victory at Yorktown. The courts and Virginia Cooperative Extension will be open. Please note that the courts will be closed on Monday, October 10th for Columbus Day. Collection of garbage and recyclables will not be affected by the holiday. For more information, please call 890-3300. That's all for this edition of York News. Please join us on October 12th for the next edition of York News. Until then, thanks for watching.